there, welcome, 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 welcome back to a brand new video where today got some very exciting news because the guys over at EA Need for Speed Payback, the game coming out very, very soon, they announced today all the cars in Need for Speed Payback and I was like, damn, this is awesome, why not do a video? Then I saw how many cars there were and I was like, hang on a sec, I could be here for hours talking about cars, you know me, I love cars and I was like, okay, well, scrap that idea. There, Matt, why don't I do a video talking about the top 15, not top 10, top 15 most expensive cars in Need for Speed Payback? So I have 15 cars on my notepad with the currency as well. I rounded it up a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. All the 15 cars will be in the description down below and also the link to the website so you can check out all the cars, which is just crazy. I'm so excited. And a few of you have said, Matt, you haven't completed Need Speed 2015 yet. I know. I think we're a few missions away and we're very close to a platinum. So I might do like a little throwback for you guys and complete Need for Speed 2015. But it's not really a throwback. Well, I guess it is. But you know the drill. So today's video, we're talking about the top 15 most expensive cars in New Speed Payback. Let me know in the comments down below which cars you'll be buying or what is your favorite car. Because we have like Koenigseggs. We have Aston Martins, McLarens, Lamborghinis, Porsches, Audis. It's pretty crazy. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. Right. The first car, the most expensive car in New City Payback is the Koenigsegg Regera. Now this is worth 1.2 million in-game currency, which is, to be honest, like the Koenigsegg, it's going to be rapid. I mean, you probably will like purchase it later on down the line, depending on how currency works and how you make money. I mean, obviously you make money from missions, selling cars. But obviously it depends how quickly we can, you know, you know, generate the revenue. The second car is the Ford Roadster Beck Customs. Now, if you remember in News 2015, we did have the Beck Customs DLC. I think it was free DLC. And this car is worth one million, which is which is just madness. Now, thankfully, those are the cars which are one million plus. All the rest are around 750,000 less. So, you know, there's only a few cars above a million. So number three, number three. Now, I would have thought this would have been a little bit more expensive, but this is the Bagani Hawaii BC at 750,000 credits. Number four, pretty expensive still. I mean, I mean, you don't really see many on the road because obviously it is a track car, but the Aston Martin Vulcan at 705,000 credits. Number five, now I, I would have thought this car would have been a little bit higher, and this is the McLaren P1. The McLaren P1 at 650,000 credits. Now, talking about hypercars, you know, one of the fastest cars in the world or the production cars in the world. The next one is the Porsche 918 Spider, as you guys know, McLaren P1, Porsche 918, the LaFerrari. Unfortunately, I haven't really seen any Ferraris in this. I don't think Neef Speed or EA have the rights to name a car for it. They might name it something completely different. We don't know. We've seen this with Forza, where Forza didn't really have the rights for like Porsche, but now they do. So hopefully one day, Ferrari, I mean, Ferrari was in Nice 2015, but I don't see the LaFerrari in the top 15, which is kind of interesting. Maybe, well, I mean, I have looked at the list so far and there's no 458s or anything. So maybe there might be Ferrari DLC, who knows? But no, yeah, number six was the Porsche 918 Spider at 600,000 credits. So the P1 at 50,000 credits more. Moving on to the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. Bear in mind, Coupe. 565,000 credits. Number eight is the Ford GT at 455,000 credits. Number nine, uh, a classic. Everyone, if you've played Nissan before, this is probably one of your cars. You know, it was the flagship for Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Murcielago. Murcielago? Murcielago. However you like to pronounce it. The LPE 674 SV at 385,000 credits. Number 10, which is the like the newer model, the new one of one of the newer models uh, which Lamborghini offer. The Lamborghini Huracan or Huracan as some people like to say, coupe at 304,100 credits. Then at number 11, a classic, the Lamborghini Diablo, Diablo, Diablo. Diablo. Lamborghini Diablo, Diab Di I'm, I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's the Lamborghini Diablo, that's it Matt, the SV model at 245,000 credits. Now if you remember, wasn't that the DLC with Jim Carner, wasn't it? Remember we had that purple? I believe so, but in, two, in, you know, in Nice 2015. Now number 12 is the McLaren 570S 
at 180,000 credits. Number 13, we have the Audi R8 V10 Plus at 178,000 credits. Number 14 is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Now, this is worth 168,000 credits. Now, at number 15 is another Porsche 911, the RSR 2.8 at 161,000 credits. So there we go, those are the top 15 most expensive cars in Need for Speed Payback. Now, if I had to choose, say, my top three, so I want you guys to do the same as well, let me know your top three down below. And like I said, all this information will be in the description so you can cross-reference. So let's say the scenario is this. Matt, you have the choice of choosing three of the most 15 most expensive cars in Need for Speed Payback, and you cannot sell it, so you can't sell it, So don't worry about value. So for me, one of the cars would definitely have to be the McLaren P1. I'm a big fan of McLaren. McLaren P1 for sure. Then the next one, oh, no, like number two is going to be tough. I oh, For me, personally, I do enjoy, I do like the Porsche 918 Spider. So, so far we're going for the McLaren P1, Porsche 918 Spider. Now the final car, it's tough. I mean, I'm looking at the Audi R8 V10 Plus. I'm looking at the Lamborghini. Do I go for the Koenigsegg or the Pagani or the Aston Martin? Hmm, I from oh, this is really tough. I think, I think for the third car, probably the Audi R8. And oh, Matt, so boring. The, I mean, I personally like Audi and I think the Audi R8. So the top three cars for me, if I had to choose from the scenario, would I like, hey, Matt, choose three cars, but you can't sell them. Definitely the McLaren P1, the Porsche 918 Spider, and the Audi R8 V10. Because if you think about it, the Audi R8 V10 Plus, would be the daily and obviously the p1 and 918 would be your weekend cars which is very exciting but there we go the top 15 most expensive cars in need for speed payback what are your thoughts are you excited i'm excited to do a walkthrough on the channel and it's going to be interesting i'm hoping to get the game a day early on the thursday but unfortunately on that thursday i'm going to my girlfriend's house so and when i say unfortunately like that weekend i'm away with her and unfortunately, it fell on the date when Need for Speed comes out. So what I'm trying to do is get content on the Thursday before we leave. Else, I might bring my PlayStation over to her house and uh, might record some Need for Speed payback videos. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure, right? <laughs> You guys are like, no, Matt, that's, that's dangerous territory. Well, we'll see about it. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, because I'm going off tangent, because that's what I do, then be sure to say massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. Let me know your top three favorite cars from the top 15 most expensive cars in needs to be payback. But anyway, have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom. And hope is now.